please join us for our moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, and one indivisible. Good morning, Nancy Eagles. My name is Carson. And my name is Colton. Welcome to today's edition of Nance News. The date is Monday, October 28th, and we hope that your weekend was amazing. We have one birthday today, Jackson J in third grade, and some of our Nance friends had birthdays over the weekend. Let's wish as happy birthdays to Cree H in first grade, Kylie M in fourth grade, and Sing in pre-K. Sorry if I pronounced your names wrong. We have some delicious lunch choices you can choose from barbecue chicken and cheddar flatbread, hamburger or cheeseburger, all American salad, some butter and jelly sandwich. Are you making your house proud? Think of all the ways that you can show your house pride this week. One way to make your house proud is by making responsible decisions. Choose to do the right thing all the time. Have you completed your house secret mission? All of your teachers are watching to see if you complete, completed that secret mission. Let's make our house houses proud. We hope you are wearing your red today for Red Ribbon Week. Tomorrow is Be a Game Changer. Wear your favorite team jersey or shirt. Congratulations to Antiguitas for being the house of the first quarter. You rock. Let's all work hard to see who is going to be the next house of the quarter. Have, Have an, an amazing, amazing day, Nancy Eagles. Bye. Good morning, Nancy Eagles. My name's Aubrey. And my name is Kendall. Welcome to our segment. Today, Today we're going to be talking, talking about, about Halloween. Halloween. What was that? Okay, so today we are going to talk about Halloween. Now, like we said, uh, I want to give you some tips about Halloween. So whenever you are walking uh, on the sidewalk with your parents and two to go get some candy, whenever you walk up there, make, and if the lights are off, that means they're not home. And if there's a bucket that says, take one, please, that means they're saying, please, just take one. There's no point of just grabbing a whole handful because there won't be enough candy for the other kids. Plus, and you're going to go to other houses. Yeah, you're going to get more candy. So please just take one. And like we talked about mirrors, whenever you take, whenever you get one, if, if, if they say, here's some candy, say, thank you, can I please have one? Please. And after, say, thank you. So, I whatever. sure do love Halloween. Halloween is awesome. Okay. Why does that kid do that? Okay. Maybe because we say Halloween. Okay. Yeah. Every time we just say Halloween, it just flickers. Please don't say it. You just said Halloween. So there are a lot of tips for Halloween. Also, like I said, remember, like we talked about banners. Whatever you take one, say please. And then say thank you after. That that would be polite. Remember, take one if it says take one. And it won't be what enough are candy you going for everyone else? And what costume are you gonna wear for Halloween? Who knows? I can tell you what I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear a blow up dinosaur. And I'm gonna be wearing my onesie skeleton and we're going trick or treating oh, together. Creepy. Yeah. Have a day, stay it's Eagles. Have an awesome, great, awesome, awesome day. It's Eagles. And when it's Halloween, have a Who nice day, it? Dance Eagles. Bye! Halloween's coming up! Oh no, why do I keep saying Halloween?